Hi everybody, just wanted to do a video to help you learn to fly in Battlefield 1 because we've, at the moment, as I'm recording this video, there is no test range, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> so, if you go into the server browser, let me just show you a little trick that you can do. If you bring up the filter by pressing triangle on PlayStation, and then we want to find an empty server, and a quick way you can do that is if you go down to um, classes, choose a uh, server where scouts aren't allowed. Okay. Oop. Oops. And also, we want to then go over. It's got to be a conquest type map, conquest type game, and we want. That one's got aeroplanes, that one doesn't, that one does, that one does, that one does, that one does, that one doesn't, that one doesn't have aeroplanes, that one does. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. And then, we go down to slots, and we want all. And we should see, if I can stop pressing the bloody <laughs> wrong back button, Go down to view servers, and there'll be two. These are two no sniper servers that some people have set up and are paying for, which is very nice. And see, there's nobody on them. So if we load them up, um, um, let's load this one. Doesn't really matter which one. Right, and here we are. Uh, no squads. And if we skip this bit, you'll see no other players. So what we can do is we can go to the aeroplanes. And then we could choose which aeroplane we want to play with. Um, so if we start off with the attack planes, and we could go in and we could uh, change the package: ground support, tank hunter, airship, buster. Let's go with ground support. Quite like this one. And then we can just spawn in to an empty battlefield. Um, and unlike in Battlefield 4, which used to put a nasty logo right in the middle of the screen saying "waiting for players to join," here. We've got the whole battleground as our own little sort of training ground. Now, the flags are marked, which is a bit of a pain, but if you've been playing them a while, you'll know which the flags are anyway. And you can practice uh, with the weapons and manoeuvring the aircraft. So, for example, with the with the attack plane, what we can do is we could um, practice. Uh, we obviously have got our machine gun at the front. We go to first person view, and then if we pull the trigger, we get a better view like that. Um, if we press triangle, we can swap over to bombs. Now, the little graphic that shows you swapping over doesn't appear. But then what we could do now is we could practice doing a bombing run on... I think this is... is this normally B, is it? And then what you can also practice is just going around and attacking the various targets, say, with strafing runs. So, we could... actually, that, that's normally D, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's do a strafing run on the church... Oh, A. Let's do A. Swap over to machine gun. That's normally A, isn't it? So we can have a go at doing that. But more importantly, you can get used to how the aeroplanes feel and start practicing some manoeuvres. So, one of the things I like doing, let's say we were attacking... Let's go back to the church again. So let's do a strafing run on B. And let's say we're not happy, we want to carry on going, so we kind of keep anti ducking and diving to avoid the uh, anti-aircraft fire. Go all the way over the top, full throttle. When we get over, flip around. There's B again. And then put some more bullets onto it, full throttle. Again, keep it low. Going up. Throttle back when we're over the top. Flip her around. Swap over to bombs. Oop, bombs. Let our bombs go. And we can attack like that. Or the other attack you can do is you can kind of go up. Instead of doing a flip, you can kind of go up, throttle back. Use your aerolons and kind of do a tight turn. Like this. And then... Oop, let's be there, innit? There we go. Swap over to bombs. Drop them. An anti-vehicle kit is available near your. And you'd be amazed how how quickly you'll get used to flying the aeroplane, especially sort of low flying, so that when you're actually in a combat situation, 
you feel a lot more confident and you're not learning about it. I mean, the basic controls for aircraft are on your left stick is your throttle, so push it forward to go fast, pull it back to slow down. Um, if you go left and right on your uh, left stick, as you can see, it does the tail thing. I'm not sure what you call. And then your right stick is uh, your aerolons for kind of turning and going up and down. Let's see if we go into the first person view. And I found it really helps to say, let's go to our tack, say the uh, windmill at F. So let's uh, go to first person. People are often in that little house there, aren't they? And let's switch, switch to the bomb. And let's bomb them. There we go. There's an AA gun here normally, isn't there? So we want to sort of keep low to keep out of the A gun's way. Go over. Loop around. I'll switch back to the machine gun. Although maybe the other thing you want to do is because say there's somebody good on the AA gun, you might always want to be staying low, sort of around the sort of treetops. We can go nice and fast. Come back. Swatch over to bombs. And try and put a bomb right on top of the windmill. So there we go. That's how to get into and play around in. An empty server and this has been the attack plane but you can do the same with the bomber the fighter obviously the tanks any of the any of the uh, vehicles at all or even run around on foot i hope that's super helpful until we get a test range where we can actually do that for real we'll just have to do it this way but i think it's quite fun and um you get to learn the maps better as well that's enough for me put your questions and comments down below if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more of the same, subscribe. And I thank you very, very much for watching. See you again soon.